Hey guys, so a little bit of a different intro to my video as normal. Um, so I did a poll on my Instagram and it was basically talking about my lip top up. Um, would you guys like to see it if I filmed it? And literally everybody said yes. So that is what today's video is. So I've, I'm going to Hayley. She used to work at Flawless Cosmetics, but now she actually has her own like aesthetics practice, which is called Perfectly Aesthetics. Um, she's a qualified nurse um, and everything like that, yeah. So I've been going to her for about two years now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to Hayley. And I'm just having 0.5, so that's half of a meal. Um, just a top up. She'll split it between like, the top lip and the bottom lip. And then I'm thinking of also having my smile lines done. Because if you watch me and you you'll know that i always complain about my smile lines like they are so bad honestly i think it's because i like to wear obviously a lot of makeup as well so it just like, accentuates it even more and um, so i'm going to be getting those done as well and um, just to see if it helps then i'll know to keep it up and if it doesn't help then i'll know obviously not to waste my money but yeah so i'm gonna go and get that done and hopefully film it for you guys um yeah so let's go so I look a state. I've been creamed up, so we're gonna go for small lines and then obviously 0 0.5 in my lips. And we've actually got a little stand, so I'm gonna try and put the camera on it and film as much as I can for you guys. But if not, then I'll just check back in once it's all done. Wish me luck. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I didn't really feel much fit at all. Okay, let's do a massage then in. When we first obviously have these done, where we've gone in with the needle, it looks like it's swollen. Mm-hmm. But as you know, obviously, it's more quite down. Look, we've still got some left, so if there's areas that you feel like need more, smile. Um, Obviously, they've gone puffy here. Yeah. So don't panic about that. Where would you say? Uh, don't you think I need any, on, any more on the actual. I think maybe like a little bit more here. Yeah. And that one. What about you? Where do you think? I don't know. That one you say is a dimple, right? Oh, sorry. Like more of dimple. Yeah, that's too wide to go with the smile lines. The smile lines are more like this line here. Yeah. We have to be careful so we don't like overload it. So you want some in the cupid's bow, you do want definition, but you just don't want any in the middle of the body. Yeah, I don't want that to like poke out anymore. Bottom lip, just like a refresh. Yeah. I just want to try and like build up the sides a little bit more because they've gone down. Yeah. But like, that's my main focus, like the sides. The sides, yeah. And then. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll Okay, all 
Tränen. I just think you've got quite a build up there, so I didn't want it to like turn your lips out, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But just the border there, and then like a little bit of the border at the bottom as well. Can you just give them another massage, just like another, another one's one. over? Yeah. They feel alright to be honest, but your massage feels really good. You always have to go get in there, so just have a go for it, because you always get all it's so smooth. Okay, so I don't know how much of that footage you're going to be able to see, but anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm home now. As you can see, my lips are very, very swollen. This is like normal, completely normal. Um, I do tend to bleed and swell quite a lot and bruise. Um, but it's different for everyone, to be honest, but that's just me. Um, but yeah, especially this side of my lip is very, very swollen. So this is what they look like if my camera wants to focus so we've already got a bruise coming here and here is very swollen but yeah very happy with them my small lines obviously I can't tell with my small lines really how they're going to be because it depends obviously when I next put makeup on, then we'll know what they're going to be like because it just depends really. Um, I just wanted to try it because they have always been something that have like really, really like annoyed me. And I've always said to Hayley, I really want to try my smile lines one day. Really want to try them. So we just thought, let's do it this time around. See how they go. If it works for me, then hallelujah, I've got a cure for them. But if not, then I won't be forgetting them and done again. Um... I will say because I'm always truthful with you guys and I want to always let you guys know what like whatever I have done and um, we did actually we only used so with the small lines you pay for one meal um and we had we only used 0.7 in my small lines so we did have leftovers and I was like well I have paid for it um it seems silly to just waste it because I'm not made of money I don't want to waste it but um yeah well I had always been like Recently I'd noticed I had like a dimple in my chin, like a, almost like a thumbprint. It was like when I smiled and like from the side view I felt like I just had a bit of a dimple. So we literally put 0.2 um, in my chin in the dimple. Um, it's probably not going to do much because she did say sometimes on the bone fillers you do need to have a slightly different filler to what the small lines one is because that's quite a soft filler. Um, so she said that it might not even really last but... You know, I just had it done anyway because one, it had actually been concerning me. Not concerning me, but I just started to notice it. When you're editing and you're filming all the time, you do notice stupid little things about yourself that probably are irrelevant and don't really matter, but you do start to notice them, I'm not going to lie. Um, so yeah, I just got it in my chin. I put the point two in my chin just because why not i paid for it she was literally about to put it in the bin and i was like oh my god like just stick it in my chin you might as well and um, she didn't actually numb my chin but i was brave enough to just have it done anyway it didn't hurt it really didn't like it made a popping noise which was kind of gross um but yeah it didn't hurt smile lines didn't really hurt at all either i really really hope that they look good when i have makeup on and see how it lasts um and lips not really painful at all honestly she's so she's so gentle and precise she really really knows what she's doing and when she massages them she gets them so smooth it's ridiculous like she's so so good at massaging lips they are so smooth and i don't usually have to massage them myself um 
but yeah so anyway this is the end of the video you'll obviously see my actually i'm not gonna upload this for a while so i might like check back in with you when all the swelling's gone so you can see what they actually look like i'm gonna do that so anyway i will see you when my swelling is a little less and you can kind of see what's really going on with my face and i'll be able to give you an update with the smile lines because i'm gonna put um i'm gonna film a makeup look tomorrow so you'll be able to see then anyway yeah so i will see you when my swelling has gone hey guys so i know i said that i would check in in a couple of days when all the bruising and swelling had gone down so it is now wednesday so it's nearly been one week since i had the smile lines and my lips done as you can see the swelling has gone down and i am so happy with the results i thought i'd show you the smile lines like with obviously makeup on because there are none there are no smile lines. Can we get a hallelujah? I've never been so happy in my entire life. So I'll just show you now. No smile lines. Thank you. And these are the lips. I'd say they're a tiny weeny weeny bit swollen still. But nothing crazy. Like I can wear lipstick again. Whereas before I wouldn't wear lipstick because they were just like too big. Like I can't wear lipstick when they're swollen because it's just too much. Too much. Um, but yeah so the lips have gone down loads. I feel like they probably can go down a tiny tiny little bit more. Um, and then they're, they're done. They're a little bit bruised still. A little bit sore. I'll take off my lips so you can see what they look like underneath but this is what they're looking like at the moment nice and plump and perfect so let me take off my lip Stick and I will show you. Okay, so this is my lips without anything on. They are a little bit bruised as you'll be able to see in a minute when I show you closer up, but yeah, absolutely loving them. So we've got a tiny bruise here still. But apart from that, they are all perfect. I'm so happy with them. Hayley absolutely smashes it every single time. Honestly, I love the girl to bits. Um, I've not had any lumps. I haven't really had to massage them. Just like really softly massage. But honestly, she does such a good job of massaging them herself that you never ever really need to... Well, I don't ever need to massage them at all. Um, but yeah, absolutely so happy with everything once again and yeah i highly recommend her obviously i don't promote lip fillers or promote tell anyone to go and get lip fillers i don't think anyone actually needs them but obviously if it's something that you want in yourself and something you've been thinking about then if you want to go to someone who is recommended then i do obviously recommend Hayley. um but yeah, I'm not saying that I think everyone should go and get lip fillers. I'm not saying if you've not got lip fillers, your lips are shit. I'm not saying the bigger your lips, the better. Because I really do think that there is like a fine line between too much filler. Um, but yeah, this is just... I know a lot of people ask me like who I go to and a lot of people did ask me to actually film this. So I just listened to what you guys wanted and here it is. But yeah, so... Um, yeah that's basically what i have done in my lips and yeah so happy with them i'm so happy that i haven't got smile lines like this is actually a dream come true a little bit annoying though because now i've got to pay out for it but you know it's one of those things lovely little hand gesture one of those things i guess but yeah anyway also if you do like this makeup then this will be on my channel soon so keep an eye out for that don't know what will come first either this or this but either way it's going to be up as well anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this little lip filler vlog and just how i get done and the experience and the process um yeah thank you so 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 much for watching and i'll see you in my next one i'll leave Haley's details down below as well just in case you want to check her out um but yeah anyway thank you so 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 much for watching and i love you all so 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 much